Ridding your home of flower moths um, means being sure that you are very vigilant even after the point of getting things um, cleaned up in your kitchen. So um, here are just a couple of examples of what can happen even after you've done a very thorough deep cleaning of your kitchen. Um, I have a canister here that has our popcorn in it and this is one of the things that I didn't think um, would need to have any additional you know action taken to it but you can see it's not a tight ceiling type of canister and there in the bottom there is a flower moth uh, among the kernels so of course I'm going to need to throw those out um, clean out my canister and then if I decide to use that canister again I'll need to put some type of a um, plastic container that seals inside it to hold our popcorn now this is another example this is a cereal that um, was in a box when I went through and did all of my deep cleaning and today I happened to look at it and I haven't opened it since I did the cleaning. Uh, this is a hot cereal for cooking but you can see there are flower moths all over. It is so gross. So um, probably what happened here was that there were some eggs or larvae uh, inside that cereal before I packaged it into the container. The good news is all of these guys are trapped in here so I can take this outside far away from my home uh, and dump it and um, get these guys out of my house and then I'll want to really um, just throw this container in the dishwasher with some hot soapy water and make sure it gets well disinfected. The same thing for my canister. So just a couple of things to keep your eyes open for even after you do a deep cleaning and don't be discouraged. Just continue to rid your home of whatever you find that is residual and then um, you know again vacuum up all of the flower moths that you happen to see around on cabinet doors or on your ceiling and soon enough you'll be you'll be uh, totally free of the problem so good luck and thanks for watching